But I always say this, like, I think to be a great actor, you need to know who you are, live life. Oh, yeah, you can't get lost. In you can't get lost character. in the sauce. Yeah. yeah, and you just have to, like, know your who you are in your life outside of your career, you know? And I think people forget that with acting. They just want to make it. Welcome back to the zoo. We have a guest who's not just talented, she's also a fashionista. You can see her as Nails on Mayans on FX. Give it up for Justina Adorno, oh, right here on the couch. Oh, I mean, yes, how great do you, you look? Given clueless. I appreciate that. Yeah. Let's shout out to these boots. They're vegan. Okay. Oh. They're own BC footwear. Shout you know, out to that. Gotta represent. Yeah, there you go. You're keeping a fuego <laughs> on the show today. We love Thank to see you. it. Now tell us about Mayans and tell us about Nails because you have such an invigorating character. Oh, yes. I feel like Nails is like the most relatable character on Mayans MC. I keep saying that, but it's true. Like everyone knows what it's like to be in a relationship that was a situationship and <laughs> is forced to be a relationship. Oh, mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> it's been interesting to play that out on camera because unfortunately, I've been there. Oof. Not so much pregnant, <laughs> so that's been a very interesting element that I haven't <laughs> dove into in a character. So it's affected my personal life. It's really complex. So uh, Nails on my end, she's dating one of the hottie toddies, hey. Angel <laughs> Reyes on the show, and she's dealing with some maternal things. I'll just Ooh, leave it at okay. that. Okay. So you actually are pregnant in the series, I the season. I am. I, w I got pregnant last season. And now I'm really, really pregnant okay, on okay. this season. What yeah. are you wearing? Like a uh, 10 oh pounds of who knows what? Like oh my God, <laughs> we, we've had like three different bellies. So it, it's been a little as progression. As I've grown <laughs> and depending on what outfit I'm wearing. But the we had special effects like with the belly and it felt and looked like a real belly. My Ooh. mom was tripping out. She was like, oh my God, this is what she looks like pregnant. And I'm pretty cute pregnant. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta, do you bump into things with the fake stomach? No. Because you're so petite. I would feel like I'd not turn around and knock everything off well, the table. Well, that's the thing. It's just all right here. You oh, know so what I mean? Compact. It's, it's not all over, Nikki. Yeah. Come on now, relax. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't look pregnant from behind, <laughs> but from the side. You no, know, but sometimes you see that, that, that come, it comes wide, you know? Yeah. All right, now you do, uh, this is such a high octane show. I mean, it's really like fun to watch. Uh -huh. Did you do your own stunts in it? I, dang it, I wish I had something to do with stunts, but. I can't say what, but I had to deal with special effects. Ooh. So that was very interesting. Um, I c everything's so real on the show, like, which is a good and a disturbing thing because mine can be pretty violent and yeah. it, it feels so real while we're filming it. Sometimes it's a little concerning uh, for me once we are told cut, you know, like, I think it's important for us as actors to take care of ourselves mentally and physically because, you know, our industry is a little crazy sometimes and dealing with the topics we deal with on Mayans, it's important to keep your mind in shape. So, no, I didn't do stunts physically, but mentally I was stunting like crazy. <laughs> Wow. You know, yeah, it's intense. That has always kind of tripped me out a little bit. Like, let's say you do an intense, I don't know, like maybe Joaquin Phoenix with the Joker. Yeah. How do you, how do you cut and then leave that character? You know what I mean? Or how, yeah. how do you separate that? How do you take care of your mental well-being? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I was grateful that I worked with Edward Amos a lot this Ooh. season. Like, it, yes, I, that was a pleasant surprise in my career that I never thought that was going to happen, but it was a blessing mm -hmm. like I couldn't believe it I literally cried when I found out that I would be working with him the wow. most were you nervous at first I didn't know what I was I was just ready You're like, oh, yes. I was like what the <laughs> hell right. and he we had so much in common and like he was so like an emotional support anchor for me during the season and he helped me like find that balance of like being committed staying in it mm -hmm. but also like relaxing out of it and like nurturing me being like wow this is a lot this is a lot oh that's beautiful and I was like it is a lot it's a lot right <laughs> I was like okay okay but yeah it I can't say enough about having an amazing supportive scene partner and he was definitely that for me but it's not easy it's Dang. not easy to snap in and out you kind of feel crazy because everyone's worrying about the technicalities of things and I'm like excuse me am I okay <laughs> I was like okay I have to act like I'm all Okay, 
It was the first time I've ever experienced so, it. So what do you guys. do to decompress? Because I'm, I'm assuming, you know, like you're saying, you know, you have to wind down from that. Yeah. So do you meditate? Do you... I, I'm fortunate enough to have a lot of friends that, you know, host sound baths and <laughs> want dope. to go on hikes and stuff. But I'm a big animal person. Like, I have two cats at home, and I just Aww. run to them, and I'm like, love me. <laughs> uh, music always helps. Yeah. My drive to set was like 45 minutes. What kind of music? Everything. Literally everything. To healing sounds, to throw that ass back, <laughs> to <laughs> a Broadway musical. <laughs> like it was just my time to decompress, tap into my myself. And I actually do have like songs from Nails too, so to also tap into my character. Mm. Oh, nice. Mm. What's been like one of the highlights in playing Nails? Definitely working with Edward. Edward. Okay. Because I mean, sure. like the whole cast, I was like. I mean, the whole cool. cast. I mean, Michael Irby. Anytime, like, it's like all the guys, I'm always like a little kid being like, look at these little kids. Yeah. <laughs> look at these little kids just being so silly on set. And it, it was incredible. I've learned so much from everybody. But this season, I'm pretty much working with Clayton or. Edward. Mm -hmm. And this so. is season four, right? This is season so four. So your relationship with Angels really progressed on the show, and I feel like season four, it's, you really get to see the most so far. I mean, what's yeah. been ex the most exciting for you about watching that relationship evolve? It's, it's beautiful and sad at the same time because it is complex. You know, you see these two people who are trying to make it work, trying to get through their traumas, trying to prepare for parenthood, but still going through their own personal dramas mm -hmm. uh so i'm excited for everyone to see that play out because it's it is hard like everyone on twitter is like he doesn't love her and i'm <laughs> like but he does but he also doesn't know how to you know what i mean Dang. like it's yeah i love it i'm excited to watch it play out myself oh, i forgot what we You're filmed like, i'm like what did we film <laughs> what would you say you have in common with nails because i mean it's such an intense character that i'm assuming parts of her aren't you there are some parts that are. What yeah. are the parts that are? I feel like she's very spontaneous, mm -hmm. which I am. She's very down. She's a down girl, which I am as well. And she's very patient, which I discovered within myself last year while I was playing her. And Ooh. I was like, damn, I do have a lot of patience. And she kind of like highlighted that within me. Dope. I like that. Well, yeah. the perfect thing is that you're not, we have you on for another segment. <laughs> Yeah. So stay here on the zoo because we are about to come back with even more spiciness. Mm -hmm. On the zoo, we got Martin, we got Nikki, we got me, and best of all, we got Justina Adorno. Justina, Monica Adorno. Monica Adorno. And 23 and Me says it might be Italian. <laughs> 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 Which Nikki's part Italian, actually. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But actually, <laughs> you might have a close connection because you worked with Momo, and Momo was uh, also in Mind's MC, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I've known Momo for years from the comedy scene, from like, man, like 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago. He's from Norwalk. What's up, 562? Hey, 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 hey. hey Imperial. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Momo, he's a really close friend to me, a uh, close friend of mine. And then you worked with him for a yeah, while. Yeah, he was my bar bro last season. Uh, Momo went out with a bang last season, that's for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, I kind of took on some of his darkness, not to <laughs> give too much away. You know, there's a little darkness that Nails brings in that Momo carried last season. Um, it's so interesting, this show, like, it's so light on set, but then we get into the nitty gritty darkness with the storylines. Like, they do such an incredible job, the writers. You this know. is the last season. I don't know. No? Oh. <laughs> no, not to, no, I no, hope no. it's not. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> At least one more season. <laughs> uh. Rewind. No, no. no um, you just never know these days. Right? You know what I mean? Well, that's because I've seen, like, Hint If I didn't get renewed, on the, my blog didn't get renewed. And I know Minds is another one for, like, the Latino community that is really big, you yeah. know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been going strong. We've been going strong. I mean, 
I'm super grateful to be on a show that has been renewed, that is yeah. the foundation. That's going to continue Latino. to get renewed. That's right. We're <laughs> manifesting it right here. We're all going to get on the Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start on, tweeting it. Honestly, like, I don't know if any actor necessarily wants to be on a show for so long. I, I necessarily Ooh, wow. don't. Unless it's my dream role, I don't ever want to get stuck artistically. Okay. You mm. know, like, I definitely want to be in films. You know mm. what I mean? Very much soon. You know, I want to hit different genres. I want to be in a rom-com. Come on, I'm Puerto Rican yeah, from yeah, New yeah. York. I think it's kind of like in my genre to like tap into that field. Yeah. Uh, you shout got out it in you. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. shout out to J-Lo and Gina Rodriguez. I need to yes. do a rom-com. The OGs. Justina. Justina. J-Lo, uh, who else did you say? J-Lo, Gina. Justina. Justina. Yes. Oh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, tell us a little bit about how your story began. How did you, you know, were you, did you always want to be an actress? How, you know, yeah. started at a young age for you? I kind of, I think so. I mean, I grew up um, going to a Catholic school and, you know, storytelling is a big thing in religion. And I kind of fell in love with, like, learning morals through... Uh, my religion classes and I was the freaking nerd that was like I want to do the reading I want to do the reading <laughs> and I loved like just like telling stories of teaching people how to be better or to empathize with one another and I just always followed that and every like through elementary school or middle school I always gravitated towards performance art and I realized wow I could do this and so I started studying it I went to a boarding art school in South Carolina oh, wow. And then I went to college for it, and I just kept listening to the universe, giving me the little signs, and it felt good. What was your first audition, like in, like in the acting world? Like in the real, real world? Dang, I can't remember what my first one was, but I definitely auditioned for Orange is the New Black. I thought that was going to be oh. my it. I thought that was going to be like my big break, but it wasn't. <laughs> thankfully so, thankfully yeah. so. <laughs> how long have you been acting then? Like how many? Professional yeah. years? Well, I graduated college in 2013, and uh, I got an agent before graduating. So oh, wow. since 2013, I've been auditioning uh, for commercial, TV, mm -hmm. film. But I always say this, like, I think to be a great actor, you need to know who you are, live life. Well, yeah, you can't get lost. In you can't get lost character. in the sauce. Yeah. yeah, and you just have to, like, know your, who you are in your life outside of your career, you know, and I think people forget that with acting. They just want to make it. And I'm like, you'll be a better actor if you go on that trip, if you right. date that person. Yeah, if go get you your heart broken. Find a new hobby. Right. You, know you have what things mean? to draw from. People exactly. don't get it. You know, Life experience. the emotional trauma <laughs> to pull from <laughs> yeah. to be on some, some scenes. Work, yeah. work yeah. on your traumas so that you're like, okay, now I know how to convey that without being so attached to it mm. you know what i mean without yeah. getting lost in the sauce right 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 well i was gonna say because so you know momo you know momo yeah. you know momo from the comedy scene you know momo throughout i'm like yeah. damn it seems like the latino community kind of gets a little like tight the more you just meet folks right yeah i mean when you go to like these like uh, industry meetings with latinos you'll see a lot of like the same people you know like throughout the yeah. years because like it's like it's big but it's, it's also like a small community of like latinos you know because it's like we're just there's not that many out there, but there are that many out there. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, yeah it, it's a tight community for sure, yeah. We're out oh, there and we beautiful. need to all know each other. Exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? I hate that, like, it's, we at least feel like it's kind of set up that, like, not all of us can eat at the table, but we can, especially when we invite each other to yeah. the table. Because, like you said, we're always going to bump into each other. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, establishing that community and being truthfully authentic authentically welcoming within the community. And there's more there's more Latino actors now than there was like 20 years ago. Because yeah. 20 years ago, they'd be like the same actors. Because yeah. like, you watch like, uh, what's it called? Selena, and it'd be like Jacob Vargas and Jennifer Lopez, it'd be brothers and sisters. Then you watch me Five Familia, their uh, husband and wife. I'm like, wait, they're yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what? Mm, <laughs> yeah, I don't think a, there's that much of a shortage. What in the family tree? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, guys, we are going to be back on the zoo with more. Justina, thank you for being here thank with us. I mean, so come on. Much. Watch Mayans on it. FX. Keep it locked on the zoo. We're going to be back with more. Don't go anywhere. Hey.